exclusive. I, I grew up like a savage. So look, so um, so did 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 Livewire ever do a whole tour with one. everybody? That never happened. We never had. We never um had um like management like that. Like, like right around like right around when everything was we when shit was starting to get organized. Everybody was starting to pop a little bit. So it just you know what I'm saying. It wasn't even like motherfuckers went their separate ways. It just to be like, say it's just one day. Mm -hmm. Like four of us might have a show on that one day. Like Phil might be booked over here. I might be booked over here. Shady might be booked over here. Blood might be booked over here. Mm -hmm. Stevie might be booked over here. And that's just how a store happened. Like yeah. so we, we created a space to where everybody could get a bag. Mm -hmm. And if we couldn't get that bag together, so be it. Right. Everybody's getting the bag. What 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 happens in 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 crews that I don't understand is when when does it when do it always come to a the divide though? Cause like you know, and and we just addressing it because it's public information when shit get out there and we see little shit spill over. Not no one incident in particular, but like when we see it happen like that. Cause I don't know whether to look at it like a brothers quarrel. Or is it a fucking war? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, do these niggas hate each other or is they going to be friends again? Like, because it, it's not isolated. So it ain't just y'all. It's everybody. This is like, I think, black musicians. You know what I'm saying? To be honest with you, like, this, this shit happened. And when you listen to other people's story, you be like, okay, we from Oakland, but that's our world, right? Hmm. But we be turn around and look and see Bobby Brown was on some gangster shit. Like, this nigga meant business. Like, yeah. something went shady. You know what I'm saying? But yeah. with y'all, you're not even having people sign. So, where do that divide come? Like, how does that happen? Is it because, like, what you're saying, niggas just ain't around each other no more? Niggas ain't young? Niggas ain't spending time with each other? Like, what Like what you, Like what divide? Like, like, like we don't see live wire together no more. No, I think it's just kind of, I think it kind of answered it. Yeah, life, it's yeah. A life just pull pull people in different directions. Five niggas, five single niggas mm -hmm. with no well, five single niggas. Well, most of us don't have kids. Mm. You feel me? But at the same time, we are kids. Nigga, we don't even got cars. Yeah, you feel me? So, nigga. One nigga but you know it's dope. But what's hella dope about that though is that if you look at a lot of other groups that actually did stick around like that, the, the money get funny. You know what I mean? You got to split that one motherfucker check against five, six people, and this nigga got a baby coming. He got a baby already here. He got he got mom sick. He need money. Niggas need. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, I think that one of the unique things about the wire is that. Like Stalin said, they, they just created a situation where everybody could go get the bag, and even if they're not together, mm -hmm. you don't really hear about situations like that. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? Jay created a platform because to where it's like, hey, you can come no, here and eat. You know there's what I mean? not going to be a bag for everybody and every, you feel me? Yeah. They might want nice. me in Frisco. They might want Phil in Alaska. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They might want blood in Kansas City. They might want Shady, nigga, in Berkeley, mm -hmm. yeah. you feel me? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, uh, as a matter of but fact, but all, but all on Halloween though. Right. Yeah. right. You feel me? Right. Right. We all have Halloween. You feel me? Like you feel me? Like that's you feel me? Mm -hmm. you know I was, saying? you know, it ain't I, no love lost. So yeah. everybody's still cool. Yeah, I still love everybody. I don't. I don't but do no you talk to, talk to everybody? I talk to everybody when I can. Yeah. Yeah, I talk to everybody when I can. That's cool, man. That's cool. Yeah, yeah, cause for a minute it just seemed like it was the divide, and then you know you had the whole Phil and Mozzie thing, and people who didn't fuck with who, and I know like from going to Pinkies and being in Sacramento, I understand the origins of the Lav D shit. You know what I'm saying? I watched you walk through that. You a grown man, you don't gotta revisit that. You know what I'm saying? There's some time where people don't need to be together. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes lines get crossed. Or signals get confused and niggas gotta agree to disagree or separate space. 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You can't force nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, what I'm saying is, in my in, in my personal opinion, in my own life, it's people that I don't want to be around. It's people that I don't. You know what I'm saying? And, and as a grown man in this situation, when all this shit going on, for the most part, I didn't see you you handle it smooth. You know what I'm saying? Like it ain't been no, it ain't been nothing because I think you understand that this is a business too. Cause I just be fucking with my kids and long as niggas don't fuck with me, we good. Right. Don't bother me, I don't bother you. Everything is kosher. Yeah. And look, I don't, and, and I don't have to come from that old cloth too. If you can keep your business off the motherfucking internet, nigga, it's easy to just. I don't go out and feel <laughs> you know, me. I don't be everywhere. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> much, man. yeah. You, you, you said keep your business off the internet. <clears throat> I mean, you know. It's a, I, my I life think, is real focused, bro. I fuck with my kids. Keep a cap on it. Yeah. I, 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 I run my businesses. Shout, I, out, to, I record, shout out to your businesses real quick. Record my music. Not, not stay to my motherfucking self. Yeah. How you come up with your barbershop concept idea? What made you want to even get into the barbershop game? You was in West Oakland first, right? Then you had something in a barbershop in West Oakland first? No, it's still no, it's 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 by the lake. But that it's, it moved? It's on Lake Shore? No, it's it's been there. This yeah, is the that's the first right. one though. Yeah, eighteen oh nine. Yeah, yeah. And Let me see that light of course. Still after that. Yeah. Yeah. So um um, if you, uh, would you, are you going to still put out the, uh, live wire compilations? Yeah, for sure. Is you going to sign some new artists or, or is you going to sign artists ever? Cause you, yeah. cause you <laughs> never signed none of them. None of the people that was on live wire. I still don't sign motherfuckers. I just do splits with empire. So, so, so Jay Stalin now wouldn't sign an artist all outright. I just take the album to empire and we do splits. If. If it's dope enough. Right. So you don't give a fuck about, because in this game, typically, motherfuckers hold on to people. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They be like, this motherfucker. I mean, you signed, I mean, you signed for your split. What if, not, what if this is a dope, because, all right, this is another thing, right? In your days, it was a possibility. Well, actually, I ain't going to fuck nobody, bro. I don't give a fuck how dope you is. No, I'm listen. Gonna, I'm going to take whatever, I'm going to take the percentage that I'm supposed to get. So I'm saying it in a different way, though, right? I ain't saying it in today's time. I'm saying it in when you was coming up, because it kind of happened to you, but not really, because you was in the studio. But back in your time, when you came up, you could walk up to the right motherfucker and get a deal, right? Yeah, for sure. That really don't happen right Hell now. No. But if you seen somebody that was super, super talented and motherfucker needed a little fixing, like, Man, I'm gonna show you how to get on the gram. I'm gonna get you some clothes and that. So you a little more financially invested than a motherfucker with a song or some out or you know what I mean or an no, album. No, that's to... just when you look out for a motherfucker like on real nigga shit. Like, right. He, like you would do that type of shit. Yeah. But I'm still not gonna say. I'm still not gonna be like, oh, you was homeless nigga. I paid your rent for you. So instead of taking this much percent, I'm gonna take this much. I'm not gonna do that to no. But like, right. nigga, I'm right. not like. Right. I'm just, so I'm just as like fucked that. up as the motherfuckers that I'm talking about that tried to do me like that.